Aloha and good evening, everyone. Um, we have a, a very special event this evening, as you all know. No stranger to Maui because they lo do love uh, uh, visiting here. We have tonight uh, Ms. Kalista Gingrich here, who will be speaking first. Yeah. And uh, tonight, uh, Kalista will be talking about some DVDs that she has a passion for and has been a part of. Um, the uh, Ronald Reagan DVD, uh, Rediscovering God in America 1 and 2, and We Have the Power. And um, this is Calista's passion. I appreciate this time around on Maui that she will actually be speaking and not just behind the scenes taking photos. So at this time, I would like to introduce to you Calista Gingrich. Thank you so much. It's so nice to see so many of you here tonight. We really appreciate it about being here. Uh, Newton and I would like to thank Ms. Arnett for once again hosting us here at Borders. Uh, we've been here several times. Okay, good. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much for being here. We really appreciate... Oh, okay, great. Uh, we, we appreciate being here. We appreciate Chris hosting us once again. We appreciate our friend Cindy Sue Clark who contacted so many of you personally and let you know about tonight's book signing. We have three new products that have come out since September that we're very excited to share with you tonight. One of them is our new documentary, Rediscovering God in America, Our Heritage. And this documentary looks at the role of religion in our nation's history in early America, from Jamestown through the American Revolution to the end of the Civil War. And this just came out in September, and it's a sequel to our original documentary, Rediscovering God in America. We also have a brand new photographic edition of the book, Rediscovering God in America. And this book focuses on our religious heritage in the United States through a walking tour of our nation's capital. So this is just out. And finally, our third book that has come out this fall is Newt's new novel, To Try Men's Souls. And this, this novel has been co-authored once again with Bill Forstgen. And it focuses on the Revolutionary War and uh, George Washington's crossing of the Delaware. So these are three new products that are out just in time for the Christmas season. We hope you enjoy them. And thanks so much again for coming. We really appreciate it. And Newt's gonna talk a little bit now about his new novel, To Try Men's Souls. Well, let me just say that uh, we are delighted to be back with many of you again. As I look around, I've seen a number of people that have been here before and uh, we really do appreciate very much both everyone here at Borders who now this has become sort of a standard place for us to come when we're on the island uh, and, and as all of you know we love to come back to the island so uh, I have to keep writing books to justify showing back up at Borders. Uh, in addition we do appreciate very much our friend Cindy Sue who's done a great job of emailing and calling people. Um, I should mention in passing that, that the new edition of the book rediscovering god in america is a photo edition because we have Clista's pictures in it uh, and if you get a chance to look at it it has a, a very uh, unique kind of parchment feel to it that they've done uh, that really makes it i think a, a very interesting feel uh, and is a very good introduction uh, to the role of god in washington and, the, and it starts with the declaration of independence and takes you around to all the monuments in a pretty powerful way when we sat down about a year and a half ago, Bill Forstgen and Steve Hanser and I, who write novels together, uh, and we tried to decide what was the right book to bring out this fall. We made a couple of assumptions. We assumed that the economy would be getting worse. We assumed that we would have foreign enemies who were still very much a real threat to us. Uh, we assumed that we'd have a very radical leadership in the Senate and the House and the White House and that as a result, that there would be a fairly large amount of turmoil in which people would be angry and people would be wondering, you know, what's the future going to be like and, and what, where do we go from here? And so we thought that it would be really helpful to write a novel about a decisive point in American history where the entire concept of being an American hung in the balance and where there was a very grave danger uh, that the whole process of becoming America would, would be defeated. And so we picked uh, the week of Christmas 1776 when George Washington had spent an entire fall campaign being defeated. He went from an army of 30,000 men at Brooklyn and through a series of defeats in Brooklyn, Manhattan, White Plains, the Palisades, 
uh, defeated run all the way across New Jersey. By December, the army was down to 2,500 effectives, less than one out of every thousand Americans was still with Washington on Christmas Day, 1776. And those numbers actually understate how big the problem was. One out of every three soldiers in the army did not have shoes and had wrapped their feet in burlap bags and would march nine miles on an icy road, uh, an unpaved icy road, uh, leaving a trail of blood. And Washington reached the conclusion that the revolution was in such danger of collapse that they had to be prepared to cross the Delaware River at night with ice in the river during a snowstorm in order to march nine miles at night in order to surprise a professional German unit at the town of Trenton. And this was truly a desperate gamble. 